Howdy folks, Skurbo here, or back on No Creek Farms. Now for you, it's been a while. For me, it's been about 10 seconds. So we are continuing on over to the store with our load of hay bales. We got loaded up in the last episode. And we're going to see how much money we can make. This poor tractor needs a bath. Uh, so we got a pretty good load here. The trailer seems to be handling it just fine. Bales are riding pretty good. I'll kind of keep an eye on it though. This is the first time I've pulled a load on this trailer. Tires are a little poochy, but uh, yeah, the springs are compressed, but so far so good. I'm kind of debating. I was all gung-ho about taking the T6 over to the store. I don't know if I should hook the big tractor on or if we should just go for it in the T6. Let's see how it handles this pulling up around the curve here. Not too bad. I mean, it's making it, so I think we'll just we'll just keep cruising right on. We already got it hooked up. We may slow down a little bit on the big hills. Let's uh, let's get our flashers on here, and we'll head to the store. Check this trailer out as we go. Make sure, we're pointing down the road. Yeah, it's got some nice uh, tire poochage there with the big heavy load. A little bit of suspension action going on. I was trying to see if the suspension was actually articulated or if it's just faked. Like most farm sim stuff. I think it's just faked. Which is fine. That's how most farm sim stuff is. So I don't want to get going too fast, but I do want a little bit of speed here to make it up the next hill. It really helps that the roads are super elevated. So we're going to pour on the coal here. This is a pretty steep hill and it's a little bit of a climb. So far we're uh, doing pretty well. Slowing down, but that's to be expected. It's a lot of weight here. T6 is working at it. That's pretty respectable, though. We held, held our speed pretty well. Here on this gravel road, we don't need to be going too awful fast anyway. I believe I can sell over here at the sell point. Just drive up and the bales are going to disappear. It's kind of a trade-off for gameplay. I could bring the loader over, but I'd have to make two trips. And it would take a lot more time. And it's going to rain tomorrow. So I think I'm just going to pull into the trigger and let them sell. And I really hope I can sell them over here. Otherwise, uh, you'll probably never see this episode. And there'll be another video <laughs> with me explaining uh, what happened. It has prices for uh, hay bales. But not silage. You can sell uh, hay or straw. But not silage or grass. Yeah, those super elevated curves really help. That wasn't bad at all. We didn't need to get the T8 out. Little T6 is doing just fine. I believe we sell over here by the, uh, the sale barn where we got the cattle. Think. I think we pull right up here. So let's, uh, let's get the straps off. Ease up here. 
and start making some money. Look at that. $106 a piece. Well, that was $140. Hey, what now? Hey, Bale. It looks like about $70 per thousand liters, so why? Why was it only $106? Farm Sim? Do you have a different price over here or something that's not, not the season's price? It doesn't even list, list a price here. Interesting. Okay, well, uh, at least we made some money, I guess. Not as much as the season's menu said we should have. Those bales should have all been full 2,000 liters. There's no reason I don't know if they should be less than that. Oh well. Let's head back to the farm and we'll check a bale when we get over there. So I'll probably cut it here. I'll see you back in the hay field. All right, here we are back at the hay field. I want to pull on down here. We're a little more central. It's like, could have shut the Massey off, but it doesn't burn a whole lot of fuel sitting there idling. So I'm going to get down in here, kind of in the middle of where we want to load. And then I'm going to swing around so we're headed out. Kind of like so. And we'll shut the T6 off. It's going to be a little while loading up. And I'm going to grab the Massey, but first I want to check one of these bales just to make sure they are 2,000 liters. I don't understand what just happened at the cell point. Yeah, 2,000 liters. Uh, maybe the map author did something with the prices, so overriding the season's price? I don't know. That's strange. You know, 70 bucks for a thousand liters, that should be 140 bucks a bale. But apparently it's not. Hay is cheap. Hay is plentiful, apparently. This drives down the price. Good for the buyer, not so much for the seller. Hmm. So it's uh, it's eight o'clock, and the last episode was me loading a bunch of hay bales. So I think we'll call this a short one, make up for the long one on the last time. I'm gonna get back to loading. Terribly, let's get lined up here. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to loading here, and I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching and take care.